Hello everyone, and welcome to my Days of Lies official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Alex also throws himself a huge pity party, saying things like, how can Justin and Adrienne raise me from birth and give me love, affection, and my own family? Then Wen verbally disabuses Leo of the assumption that she is still unaware of his and Dimitri's involvement. Those bastards. Let's now delve a little more deeply into what transpired. Maggie came brandishing Victor's amended will, which makes it plain that Vivian gets nothing, not long after Vivian spent money on swatches and fabric samples and hired workers to throw Maggie's trinkets both at the mansion and the workplace. Nada. Zilch. Not a single piece. Vivian cried and complained, but insisted that she would not back down. The majority of the legislation revolves around possession. Unluckily for Vivian, Maggie anticipated pulling such a move, so she prepared an eviction letter and a deputy who gladly led Vivian off the property while being well-armed. Laughter, laughter. With little to lose, Vivian dropped by Alex's house, wished him well for his brilliant future, and suggested that the two of them conspire against Maggie to take over the entire business. Vivian reminded Alex of how his play aunt had abandoned him when he needed her, and after he recoiled, she said it was time to return the favor. Alex, though, walked Vivian to the door. Vivian continued on to the Demere estate, where she came across a startling sight. A stressed Dimitri, Peter Port, driven to the brink by Kristen, holding him at gunpoint while pointing the weapon at Gebby and Stefan, who were attempting to blackmail her. Vivian pulled out her own handbound and started shooting, though she was less worried about Gebby than she was about her son. Dimitri was struck and rendered unconscious. After getting quite a talking to from Sonny, who advised him to stop being so miserable and realize that nothing had actually changed in terms of sentiments, DNA be damned. And getting rid of the awful Vivian, Alex continued to brood over his situation. Alex was unexpectedly drawn to the thought of seizing control of Titan and reshaping it whatever he saw fit, even at Maddie's expense. Gwen, Emily O'Brien, prepared to head to the bank, withdraw the sizable first installment paid out by the Von Luschner Trust, and flee with it as a middle finger to the two, in contrast to Kristen's suggestion that they just up and kill Dimitri. Gwen's goal was to make the day the bleakest, darkest, most hopeless day Dimitri and Leo had ever experienced. Gwen even found the time to get a banana cream pie that looked very delicious and personally deliver it to Leo's face. Furthermore, in response to Leo's query, what in the name of Michael B. Jordan was that about? Your bear starred, Gwen snarled, for sleeping with my husband. According to Days of Our Lives spoilers, Susan Banks will eventually see E.J. Demura, who has been severely missing her ever since her alleged demise. Wendy Shin attempted to persuade E.J. that Susan was still alive, but given the situation, he was dubious. It's not uncommon for a day's character to come back to life, but it's understandable why E.J. might be skeptical given how insistent Ava Vitali, Tamara Braun, was in the past about Susan's dire situation. Before E.J. can genuinely think his mother survived, he will likely need to meet Susan himself because he doesn't trust Ava. Thanks to Edmund Crum, Adam Kane, who is presently keeping Susan, Ava, and Harris Michaels, Steve Burton, hostage after drugging them, Susan is stranded in London. Although Harris, Ava, and Susan are in a terrible circumstance, they will undoubtedly manage to escape or receive help at some point. Day spoilers indicate that when the time comes, Susan will need to make a grand entrance back into Salem, thus Dio Ola might have a big surprise in store for E.J. Will Susan show up at E.J. and Nickel Walker's, Ariane Zucker, wedding as a wedding crasher? Maybe just as Nickel and E.J. are about to exchange vows, Susan will barge in. On E.J.'s special day, Susan might give an explanation and assume her proper position as the mother of the groom. Susan, of course, is a lot more perceptive than most people, so she might pick up on some uncomfortable Nicole vibes. 
It might cause Susan to wonder if Nicole's child is Nicole's, which could cause some family strife to break out at some point. In any event, according to Day's teasers, EJ and Susan will reunite soon and enjoy some touching scenes this fall. EJ will be shocked once he learns all the specifics from his mother, since Susan will go back to Salem and recount her crazy experience. Do you anticipate Susan interfering with Nicole and EJ's wedding? Will Susan show up unexpectedly when EJ finally has the reunion of his dreams? Stay with us for more information on the wonderful news that's approaching for EJ since Days of Our Lives spoilers indicate that Susan's return will bring him solace. Visit CDL often for more Days of Our Lives information as we'll have more sizzling spoilers, news, and updates. Spoilers from these Days of Our Lives hint at a friendship that breaks apart, a secret that is maintained, and much more. You definitely won't want to miss this week. Gwen, Emily O'Brien, also admits that she is fully aware of the affair he is having with her husband and strikes Leo in the face with a balled-up fist. After the altercation, the friendship between the former best friends is almost completely destroyed. Leo gets a call from Dimitri informing him that he's been shot before they have a chance to thoroughly consider what this means going ahead. Joda meets Sean, Brandon Beamer, after her trip from London and slams him for having an illicit affair with her sister. Sean urges Jada not to blow things up right now and makes a promise to Belle, Martha Madison, that he will eventually confess to her. In spite of herself, Jada concurs. Other day spoilers include Rex being attacked, E.J. seeing a familiar figure, perhaps his mumsy, and Sarah getting criticized for lying about having a baby. A chat with Sander Paul Telfer, causes Chloe to make a decision that will change her life, but she won't be acting alone. Last but not least, according to Daya's teasers, Brady will be visiting Salem with a familiar face. Could this be a grown-up tatter-top Tate? If you didn't know, mornings on Soap Pub are for comments or crazy conjecture about days of our lives' current plots, whether heading, how they're doing, and sometimes, just what we're hoping we shall see in Salem in the near future— please click here to read this one, as it is one of our favorites. Days of Our Lives can be shown on the W Network or Global TV app in Canada and Peacock, plus in the United States during the week. Check out the most recent day's spoilers for more information about what will happen in Salem, and go here for a detailed look at the show's history. Join the discussion on our Facebook page, peruse our Twitter feed, or keep an eye out for an update on our Instagram stories to learn more about what's happening on your favorite soap operas. I'll see you there. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any update.